Hello kids! How are you today? Are you as excited as I am for today's lesson? Come and join me as we explore the amazing and lovely kingdom of plants. I am Teacher Ratio. Welcome to Science 4. Aren't you wondering how plants survive on land and in water? Would you like to know about it? That's great! Our objective for today is to identify the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Let's get started by getting first your module, notebook, and ball pen. Look at the pictures. Analyze and identify each plant. Write T if the plant grows on land. A if it is in water. You will be given 10 seconds to answer each item. All set? Let's start! Number 1 T. If you answer T, you are correct because banana grows in land. Number two. A. You are right. It is A. Lotus grows in water. Number three. Yes, it is tea because rose grows in land. Number four. T. You got it. It is T. Gumamela plant grows on land. Number five. A. Correct. It is A because. Water lily grows in water. What is your score? I know you did well in this activity. Kids, let's start discovering the wonders of plant kingdom. In the first activity, you have identified where plants can be found. Banana, Rose, then Gumamela. Are plants found in land? While lotus and water lily. Are plants found in water? How do they survive in their respective habitats? What are the specialized structures of plants that help them live in water or on land? Let's find out! Plants have specialized structures that help them adapt to water and land. Roses, bougainvilleas, euphorbia have thorns. They are for protection. Cactus and succulent have fleshy stems and leaves for water storage. These enable them to survive in dry conditions for a long period of time. Aside from fleshy stem, a cactus may also contain thorns. 
pineapple has sharp leaf blades for protection. Gabi has waxy leaves. The wax is a cuticle layer that helps keep water in the plant. Hyacinth has long roots so that they can reach the soil under the water. Talahib has irritant fine hairs for protection. And lastly, lotus and water lily. Lotus plants have flat and broad leaves, while water lilies have thick and buoyant leaves. Why is it called buoyant? Because it has the capability to float. How are you doing, kids? Are you amazed at the wonders of Plant Kingdom? I hope you do. Let's check your understanding of the lesson. Fill in the blank with the appropriate word. Pick out the word from the treasure box. Terrestrial Roots Adapt Ferns Lives Stem Number 1. Plants have specialized structures for them to to their environment. The correct answer is adapt. Plants have specialized structures for them to adapt to their environment. Number 2. Bougainvillea and roses have for protection. The correct answer is thorns. Bougainvillea and roses have thorns for protection. Number 3. The water lilies have thick and buoyant The correct answer is leaves. The water lilies have thick and buoyant leaves. Number 4. Some plants store water on their fleshy The correct answer is stem. Some plants store water on their fleshy stem. Number 5. Hyacinth have long so that they can reach the soil under water. The correct answer is roots. Hyacinth have long roots so that they can reach the soil under water. What is your score? If you got 5, very good. 3 to 4, good. 2 and down, cheer up. You can still do better in the next activities. Kids, plants have specialized structures for them to adapt to their environment. 
Bougainvillea and Rose have thorns for protection. Water lilies have thick and buoyant leaves. Likewise, some plants like cactus stores water on their fleshy stem. Hyacinths have long roots so that they can reach the soil under the water. This time, you will write true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. Each statement will be flashed on your TV screen. Read them carefully before writing down your answer. Ready? Let us begin. Number 1. Water lilies have broad leaves that help them float. True. Number 2. Aquatic plants can still live without water. False. Number 3. Water can easily penetrate the leaves of plants with waxy leaves. False. Number four. Not all plants have thorns and hairs. True. And number five. The leaves of lotus plants are flat and broad. True! Good job, kids! I know you did well in this activity. What are the plants that live in water? Hyacinth Lotus Water lilies How about on land? Roses Pineapple Banana The plants mentioned can survive in water and on land because of their specialized structures. Why are plants important? Plants give us food, shade, lumber, oxygen, and many more. Knowing all this, you are now ready for our final activity. Directions Identify the plant that suits to the description of the given specialized structure of plants. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your notebook. Number 1. Sharp Leaf Blade A. Pineapple B. Mango C. Guava D. Santol A. You are right. Pineapple has leaf blade. Number 2. 
ferns. A. Rose. B. Santan. C. Daisy. D. Gumamela. A. Correct. A is rose. Number three. Waxy lives. Sava. B. C. Hong Kong. D. Gabi. D. Absolutely right. Gabi plant has waxy leaves. Number four. Fleshy plant parts. A. Orchid. B. Cactus. C. Santan. D. Yellow bell. B. You got it. Cactus is fleshy plant. And number five, long roots. A. Bamboo. B. Gabi. C. Hyacinth. D. Lemongrass. C. Yes, it is C. Hyacinth. How many correct answers you got? Five. Very good. Three to four. Good. Two and below. Need to study more. Kids, you have learned that plants have specialized structures that help them adapt to live on land and in water. Remember also to take care of our plants because they give us food, shelter, oxygen, and many more. Kids, you can now review this video through our YouTube channel. Search RLTV Later Division. Click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified of the latest uploads. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot today. This is your teacher Rachel reminding you that science is a gift to humanity. See you again next time. Bye!